Digital Romance TV. Welcome to this edition of Digital Romance TV. I am your host, Alana Pratt. I am loving the feedback, this, this relationship that we're building together. I want to especially thank a gentleman named Vincent who sent this the most beautiful comment that really filled my heart. Um, thank you so much. You know, I know you don't have to do things like that. You, you all are so busy. So that you take the time and the energy and the thought to reach out just really fuels me. So um, thank you for that and keep all of your questions coming. So what I wanted to share with you today is sort of an interesting angle towards being in your confidence dating. And it actually is coming from my parenting classes that I've been taking because, you know, you can never learn, to, you know, enough about parenting. There's no guidebook, in my opinion, kind of like dating. Um, and what, it, what I've been learning about is the brain and that as a parent, when your child is in a fight or flight or freeze, and they're in fear or they're in anger, they literally are in their lower brain. They do not have access to their, their awareness, to problem solving, to reasoning, to empathy, to humor, none of it. Um, and yet when you can, when one can become a parent who is nonviolent and really gives them that um, listening and acknowledgement and that safe place to be heard, that they go into their higher brain. And their higher brain is where all of this awesome stuff like reasoning and problem solving and awareness and empathy and humor and kindness, it's where it all occurs. And so I've been thinking, you know, uh, how can I be more of that type of parent with my son so that he thrives? Well, uh, lo and behold, isn't it always, sorry for that very loud plane going overhead. Um, sorry, I live near the, near, near, live near an airport. So um, quite often in dating, we, we, we go into our head, oh, what are we going to say? Or um, we say the wrong thing. Or we're like, who was that person on that date? That wasn't me because we were in fear. And I want you to know that you're not a loser and you're not broken and there's nothing wrong with you. It's just that when we as human beings are in fear, we are in our lower brain. We are just surviving. We do not actually have access to the true being that we are. We don't have access to our awareness or even just problem solving in terms of critical thinking and just a, a, a plain old nice conversation. We don't have empathy, we don't have kindness, we don't have access to our humor, none of these things that would make the date go well. So it's pretty simple, but maybe not easy to say, all you need to do is not be afraid on a date. Well, that's a pretty tall order, right? Because we want them to like us. We might be afraid of rejection. We might be afraid they'll pass us up for someone else. We might be afraid we're not enough right and so i wanted to talk about so how can you move out of fear out of that lower brain into your higher brain where you really are your authentic self where you really can be authentically funny and kind and have awareness and critical thinking and have a good time on your date right well a couple of the ways that as we bring our children into our higher brain is no different than how we bring the child inside of us into our higher brain. And it's everything that I really teach, but now that the brain um, chemistry is, is providing this acknowledgement of it, it makes, I hope you can take it in, not just as like some woo woo idea, but really hormonally, statistically, brain science, it's really what it requires. Acceptance, acceptance of how you're feeling, not try to resist it or stuff it or avoid it. Be okay that inside there's a part of you that's afraid. If you can accept that part, then it can shift. And number two, give yourself the time and attention that's required. Even if you have to go off to the bathroom in your date, attend to that part of you that might be afraid and listen, it's okay. There's nothing wrong that you're a little nervous. She's pretty hot, he's pretty hot, right? It's okay. Give the attention to that part of you, breathe. Let that be okay. Don't resist that part of you. Um, next, really appreciate that part of you. I mean, the only reason that you're nervous is because you, you want the relationship to work. You're really committed to having a relationship. You really are ready to be intimate and vulnerable and connect with someone. Appreciate how courageous you are, how amazing you are. Be kind to yourself. And then lastly, affection. Now, 
close the door in the bathroom because it'll look probably weird if you just start hugging on yourself in front of everyone else. But give yourself touch. Give yourself a hug. Even just place your palms on your thighs during the date underneath the table. Um, go to the bathroom, put your hand on your heart. Give yourself a hug, just that little bit of affection. Granted, when we give it to our children, you know, they all just wanna climb up into our lap and be held safe and sound and secure. Well, we can do that for ourselves, as dorky as that might sound. Take some time to just touch and connect with you. Get back in your body. Give that affection and attention and kindness and empathy to yourself. And you'd be amazed how quickly it only takes about 90 seconds for an emotion to sort of run itself through our body. It only takes about 90 seconds for that cortisol to start to calm down. And even, I'm not sure if this is true because I'm not a doctor, but that oxytocin is when we bond with kindness and love. Do it for yourself. Who knows, maybe some wonderful rush of oxytocin will go through your body. I don't know, but you'll just feel better. And scientifically, you'll go from your lower brain to your higher brain and you'll start to become who you really are, connected to all the awareness, the problem solving, the empathy, the kindness, and the humor of you with your date. Just take the time to go inside and treat yourself with the kindness that you would a child. Do that for the child inside and give me some feedback of how your next date goes. All right, all my love, you know you can learn more about me at alanapratt.com, A-L-L-A-N-A. P-R-A-T-T dot com. I love it when we connect, when we interact, when you ask questions and when I can communicate and contribute back to you. So thank you for taking the time to keep this amazing, delicious dialogue going. I care about you. I believe in you. And if you have that desire for that relationship, first make that relationship inside your number one priority and watch as that gets mirrored in your life and you meet that special someone.